Okay, so this is going to show you how to do overlaps. Like if you shoot something, you want it to, you know, have an effect. If the enemy hits you, you want it to have effect. Um, this is how we're going to do this. Okay, so overlaps. You need this command. Okay, before you do this, we have to understand that. Players and enemies and items can be kinds, okay? So right now, this is a player kind. This is an enemy kind. When I have the enemy hit a player, I want something to happen, like a life to disappear, okay? So on sprite kind of player overlaps another sprite kind of enemy, I want it to take a life away, okay? If I already set lives at three, if I go to info, I want to change life by one, okay? So lose a life, okay? So now when I touch it, I lose a life almost immediately, okay? It's not taking one life away. And the reason it's not taking one life away is because I'm constantly touching it over and over again. So it takes away the lives super, super, super fast immediately, okay? So what I need to do is I can put a pause or I can destroy it, okay? So first let me show you what a pause looks like. Okay, if I put a pause, and let's do for like two seconds, it will take a life away and then pause, and then it will check again. If I'm still touching it, it will take another life away. Okay, so let's go touch it, took a life away, okay? And it just takes one life away. And this time we can get to follow you or whatever, right? I touch it again, right, and it's still there, touch it again and I die. Okay. Another way to do this is to destroy it. So you go to destroy, put it here. Then you're going to drag this red bubble to here. Okay. Because if you start doing a lot of enemies, you don't have to do every single name of the sprite here. You can just say whatever the enemy is, anytime you touch an enemy that's an other sprite, destroy the other sprite. Okay. Go here, and I touch it, I lose a life, and it gets destroyed, right? Like you hit a mine or something, whatever it is, okay? Be careful not to use sprite, because you're the player sprite. And if I do this, the player will get destroyed, and the enemy won't, okay? So if you have a mistake, it might be there, okay? Now let's show you how to make the projectiles destroy enemies, okay? So we're going to use the same overlap. Here, on kind of player overlaps a, actually we'll do it, on kind of projectile, projectiles here, overlaps an enemy, we want it to be destroyed, okay? So I'm actually going to, I'll do find it here, destroy, okay? We don't, we could destroy the projectile and we could destroy the enemy, so we're going to do this, destroy the enemy. Okay, so now when I go up and I shoot him, oops, I missed him, it will destroy him, okay? And you see how that projectile kind of just kept going? If you don't want to have like armor piercing projectiles, we can duplicate this and also destroy the sprite that was sent, the projectile sprite, okay? So now when I shoot it, it will destroy the projectile and the enemy, okay? And that's a real quick way how to do overlaps.